I now want to shift back to Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. I double dog dare the Green Bay Packers to trade away Aaron Rodgers. I dare the Green Bay Packers to take on life without Aaron Rodgers. You know, are you Green Bay? Let me ask you a question. Are you truly thinking about moving on from the most talented quarterback in NFL history? A guy that's been the ultimate band-aid for your franchise. A guy that's shown that he can overcome a battle with the blind. Not great wide receivers. Not a great defense. Not a great run game. Aaron Rodgers has shown time and time again he can carry this franchise on his back despite not having a lot of talent around him. And Green Bay, they were a track for agents. So Aaron Rodgers, he is the ultimate band-aid. And you're going to let a three-time NFL MVP award winner leave, especially after the year that he had in 2020, having his greatest season yet? The truth of the, truth of the matter, people, is this. Aaron Rodgers doesn't need the Green Bay Packers. Many teams are going to line up to go out there and sign Aaron Rodgers if he's available, okay? And you could say, oh, well, we got Jordan Love on our roster. Good luck with that. And by the way, I was a Jordan Love fan. I had Jordan Love rated over Tua Tunga Bailoa. I think Jordan Love has some potential. But what Green Bay has to realize is they got super lucky by landing Aaron Rodgers after Brett Favre. You don't go from a top 10 quarterback of all time to another top 10 quarterback of all time very often. The San, the San Francisco 49ers had that situation occur with Steve Young and Joe Montana. You know, Joe Montana, he, he won four Super Bowls. Then Steve Young comes in and wins a Super Bowl and things like that. But it's rare. You go from an all-time great quarterback to an even better all-time great quarterback. Because to me, Aaron Rodgers, he's better than Brett Favre. And here's the thing, people. I got to ask you guys a question. If Jordan Love is so good, how come the Packers were in position to draft him? If Jordan Love was so good, how come no one in the top five picked him over Justin Herbert, over Tua, over Joe Burrow? Oh, it's because he's a raw prospect. He's a little bit of a project. And I wonder... If Green Bay didn't trade up for Jordan Love in the first round, who was going to trade up for him? I have no idea who was going to. But look, here, here's the thing. Um, Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers gives you an opportunity to win a Super Bowl every single year. A NFL general manager's dream is to draft a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. A-plus arm, good mobility, you know. Excellent reading defenses. His processor is unbelievable. Pocket presence, unbelievable. At times, a little bit of a moody leader, but he's a good enough leader. He's a Super Bowl champion. He's the most talented quarterback the NFL has ever seen. And based on the way quarterbacks are lasting longer and longer, like Drew Brees, like Tom Brady, and based on the season Aaron Rodgers just had, I believe Aaron Rodgers has five to six good to great seasons left in him at bare minimum. I truly believe that as long as he stays healthy. So, Green Bay, swallow your pride. Potentially to trade Jordan Love because it's one of those things where you need to choose Aaron Rodgers over Jordan Love. I dare the Green Bay Packers to trade away Aaron Rodgers because we've seen in the past, without Aaron Rodgers, the Green Bay Packers could barely beat the 0-16 Cleveland Browns. In years past, when Aaron Rodgers has gone down due to injury, Green Bay's been the worst team in all of football. They've been unwatchable, people. So. That's how I feel about Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, a guy that, you know, came out and won league MVP this year. The year after after the Green Bay Packers did him dirty and drafted a quarterback in the first round to replace him. So that's how I feel about Aaron Rodgers. The Green Bay Packers, they should not move on from him anytime soon. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. 
Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Lurt Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.